Hello friends, I'll show you how to upload your recorded video onto YouTube. So first log into your Gmail account and click on YouTube or you can open your YouTube and you can then log into your Gmail account. So both are interlinked and check the plus symbol here this shows create so click on that it shows upload video and go live so i would like to upload video right now so i can drag and drop a video file here or i can select a file from my device so i have a sample video with me i'll double click on that to upload now it starts uploading I can rename the video and I can give the description to this video. You can see the percentage of processing here. It is only 95%. So when it is 100%, it is processed and it's ready for sharing. So you can select what kind of audience you want i can say it's made for kids or not made for kids so once the processing is finished you can see the preview of this video here and there's a link generated automatically by youtube so you can copy the link by clicking on this i can also see whether the age restriction is there i don't want any restriction i can go for more options so if I have any paid promotions, I can click on the paid promotions. I can put any tag. You can add any number of tags you want. Select language. If you had a pre-recorded video, you can also say when this video was recorded and date. And this license and distribution is very important. If you are not changing this, this is a standard YouTube license. But if I change it as Creative Commons Attribution, it means your video can be shared by anybody else. So I can allow embedding and I can publish to subscription feed and notify my subscribers. So I can change the options as I like and I say next. There is an option add end screen so add end screen means when your video is about to finish it will show something like subscribe or next video and all so i can add the end screen from the video itself or i can add with a given pattern so i, I can click on this saying it will show me it, the most recent uploaded video and it will also say subscribe to my channel this is just like my advertisement so i can click on that and i'll say save so when it is saved there's an option called add cards so if you want to promote anything in your video you can add now i'm not adding anything i don't want to promote so i'll click on the button next here there is an option save private unlisted public so if you want the video to be made public you can tick as public if you want your video to be watched only by your friends or only by your students then you can say private and copy the link and share with your students and they will be able to watch it also i can schedule my video to some other date to make it as public so I can click on some date, select the time zone. So it can be GMT 530. And now I am all set. I'm scheduling my visibility. And this is the link of the video. So you can copy it using this link, paste it on any platform you want. I'll say close. And you can see that my video is uploaded here. You can see my videos and this is on the top which I have uploaded right now and you can see the visibility this video is scheduled you can see the video is currently private and is scheduled to become public on June 11 
so and so time also i can edit it or i can even make it public i'll say save or publish so i'll make it public so i can even edit it at later stage i'll say publish and now you can see that this video has been changed to public i can do that also if i feel there was some mistake in this video i can just delete i'll say delete forever click on this dialog box and say delete and it's deleted once it is deleted it will not be available for you anymore and nobody can see your video though you have shared your link video link nobody will be able to see because the video will be no longer available on your channel it will not be available anywhere so the author or the owner of this video or channel will have all the rights to make it public private and change the visibility and remove and add so it's taking a bit of time to remove the entire thing but it will be deleted it will be removed so you can create your own videos using the zoom app that is through zoom recordings or through google meetings so you will take the recordings and those recordings can be uploaded because there's a chance of presenting in zoom and also presenting on google meet it's very easy to make a presentation and take a class online to the students and upload it onto the youtube to make it visible to them so now you can see that my video is no more visible here it's been deleted completely it's not available this is how you can upload your videos onto 